Well, the son of a former California governor and Supreme Court justice has made it his mission to preserve history. His home in Davis now contains artifacts you might find at the Smithsonian. ABC 10's Morgan Reiner covers all things politics and is the first television reporter to get a look inside. Bob Warren is the first to admit he did not care about politics growing up. In fact, he was happy when his father did not win the vice presidential election because he was just starting to make friends here in Sacramento and he did not want to move to D.C. 74 years later, it is hard to ignore the role his father played in shaping America. These are the three buttons my mom gave me. It started with three buttons. From an emotional thing, I would say those three buttons that my mom gave me are probably uh, my prize collection because that got me started. Buttons made for his father's vice presidential run with Thomas Dewey in 1948. Whoever gets this, um, uh, my requirement is that they yeah, they use it or don't don't take it. You know, keep it keep it together. His father did not win his run for VP, but five years later, the former California governor would be appointed to the Supreme Court of the United States by President Eisenhower. I have those four metal parking um, signs up there when somebody look at that and say, why would I want those? You know, and then maybe they just throw them away. But what they represent is they represent each president that my dad swore into office. As Chief Justice, Warren presided over one of the most progressive courts in history. He wrote the majority opinion for Brown v. Board of Education, which desegregated schools, and Loving v. Virginia, which legalized interracial marriage. Of course, I was very proud of what he was doing. With the recent overturning of Roe versus Wade, some of those cases are now under the spotlight. Justice Clarence Thomas asking to revisit cases dealing with the 14th Amendment to correct the air. But as far as for him making a decision of what uh, a change, it would never occur. He would never make that. He would discuss it with somebody and, and, his, and take in what they had to say. A viewpoint many didn't like back then. This is the impeacher Warren drawer. And these are the buttons when people want, didn't agree with him on the Supreme Court. While Bob Warren didn't pay attention to governmental affairs growing up, you have every election? Every, every election, yeah. He now has something from every election dating back to Abraham Lincoln. If they see that Lincoln piece, that kind of it takes over for everything else. And still today, if he could say one more thing to his dad, it would have nothing to do with politics. I would ask him, uh, uh, you still, would you still like to go hunting? Bob Warren's office is full of political artifacts. In fact, he has the very brush that JFK used in the debate against Richard Nixon in the 60s, where appearance played a huge role. You can see many of his artifacts the weekend of July 17th at the American Political Items Collection Convention in Reno.